Yeah, we're heading down the home stretch for this week with track and field homeboys Kirani James and Anderson Peters, along with Jamaican sprinter Elaine Thompson-Hira, are set to headline the Grenada Invitational Meet set for June 6th in St. George's. And guess what? After our character coverage, Sportsmax will be back in the spice aisle as we intensify our offerings in the build-up to the Paris Olympic Games. The Commonwealth Games 110 meter hurdles champion Rashid Broadwell of Jamaica is also set to compete, as well as the Olympic 100 meter hurdles bronze medalist Megan Tapper. The meet will herald the celebration of the 40th anniversary of the Spice Isles first participation at the Olympic Games in 1984. Yeah, um, Donald, this is big for a number of reasons. Kirana James, one, will be back competing in Grenada. The first um, time the Grenada Invitational was staged was in 2017. Kirana James competed there. He won the 400 meters. He didn't compete in the next two stagings of the event, and it has not been held since 2019. Mm. But he's on the roster, the country's greatest ever performer and number one that's going to be a big deal for them they also get to see Lyndon victor who won a world championship bronze medal in the decathlon last year won the commonwealth title um, in 2022 as well his brother kurt felix will be in action as well and just from the grenadian standpoint it's a big deal to have their very best athletes currently being at that meet i i, I like the prestige of the event i like the fact um, that uh, they, they, they have gained more confidence over the years. Yes. They hosted a fabulous character games, in, in my opinion. Yes. Um, and the atmosphere there um, was uh, really at, at, at an all-time high, I figured. And that's what I'm looking forward to most. Um, because they are growing, um, of course, they've had world-class athletes. They've made such a massive impact on the world and the Olympic stage as well. Kirani James, of course, being one of them. And... I'm just happy to see that they're making their mark. And in the build-up to the meet, they will have all 51 athletes who have represented Grenada at the Olympic Games mm. um, take um, what I would consider to be a parade of honour um, ahead oh. of the start of the event. So that will be a special moment as well as they celebrate 40 years of competing at the Olympic Games for Grenada. This is Kirani James winning the 2012 Olympic Games title and it will be great for him to compete in front of his home crowd for another time. It hasn't happened often in recent years, but it's a terrific opportunity for him to do it. I want to move away from Kirani James though, um, Donald, because a lot of individuals have been asking, when are we going to see Elaine Thompson here for 2024? Well, we now know that we will see her on the 6th of June in Grenada. That is an amazing opportunity for the people of Grenada yeah. to come out and see one of the greatest sprinters of all time. I understand that she will be running the 100 meters. I have also been told, though, that it is unlikely to be her season opener, which means that she is likely to compete before June 6th. As to where that is going to be, I am not sure at this stage. What are the options though? Maybe a local meet here? Well, I think there are a few options actually. You could look at a local meet here, but there are enough meets elsewhere hmm. um, on the continental tour that she could take advantage of. Um, and have an opportunity to compete before she gets to Grenada. As I said, she's going to be running the 100 meters in Grenada. Um, so there is a possibility that maybe she opens her season with a 200. Um, but once again, it is great to see that she has been announced for a meet and that at least her fans know that in short order, she will be competing. Um, so that is fantastic news. Still now awaiting the official word on when Shelly and Fraser Price will open her season. But I suspect... Um, that coach Ronaldo Walker will be releasing both at around the same time. So I wouldn't be surprised if we hear a Shelly and Fraser Price announcement soon, um, or maybe she'll just surprise us and turn up somewhere. But we have seen the training clips, haven't we? And, yes. and, and um, 
I, I became even more optimistic when I saw those those clips. For and Elaine Thompson here. Yeah, no, yeah. and for Shillian Fraser and Price as well. Fraser Price. There's mm -hmm. a, a most recent clip of Elaine Thompson here where she was training at the National Stadium in Kingston and she was alongside a male athlete and they were it looked as if they were doing starts and she got out of the blocks right there with him and everybody is getting excited again because she looks in fantastic shape what is also interesting about it because shelly and fraser price elaine thompson hira mm -hmm. rashid broadbell who is a commonwealth games 110 meter hurdles champion all have the same coach in ronaldo walcott um broadbell and thompson hira are being released um no, and gives us, well, at least me, even more belief that it's only a matter of time um, before Shelley and Fraser Price is released as well. I suspect, as I said, it's going to be before the end of May. The management of the athletes, though, always interesting to me, of course. Um, obviously, it's, it's, it's Walcott who will be deciding when the athletes run as opposed to management dictating where they will run because it's, 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 a, it's a system that is very unique and peculiar to each athlete. Yeah, I think you are very much right about that in terms of unique and peculiar to each athlete because I think, and to each camp as well. Um, but I think that the best way is when you have a collaborative effort between the coach and the management. So you'll sit down likely, hopefully at the start of the season, um, and together you will say, well, um, these are the targets that we have for this year. Um, these are the meets that we would like to be in or these are the periods you would like to compete. In the case of Elaine Thompson here, remember, she's going for something special in 2024 at the Paris Olympic Games. Yep. She has just joined Ronaldo Walcott. Um, she's well, this is the first season with Ronaldo Walcott as her coach. He will likely need a little bit of time. Yes, um, he was at MVP around the time when Thompson Hero was at MVP as well, or around a time when she was there. I don't know how much time they would have spent together. Um, and Walcott, I think, understands the MVP system that Elaine Thompson Hero would be coming out of. But still, given her injury issues as well, he would be extremely extremely careful as to how he patterns her season. And then as well, he has to think about um, when I do release her, she needs to be ready. So however much time we need to get her ready, that's the time we'll take to get her ready. So great to see Sportsmax will be in Grenada. Can't wait. We had a wonderful time when it was Carifta. Mm -hmm. We didn't take Donald. We're mm -hmm. still not taking him this time, mm -hmm. but that's fine. Everybody else will be there. Grenadians, come out. Let's... Are you going to Paris? Take yeah, a break. I, I thought we'll so. be back. You're not going to be in Paris, are you? I'm everywhere, Donald. You're, you're, I'm in Paris, in Rome, people's minds. Stuttgart. Okay, got it. St. George's, Toronto Game Stadium. St. George's College. Okay. <laughs>